Hello and welcome to another art tutorial following on from the last one where I showed you how to make very, very, very simple journals and sketchbooks from leftover and scraps of paper. And I was thinking about how to cover them and I had a whole load of this sheet music that I found in a charity shop and it was all damaged and torn and I bought a whole load a whole wad of it for a pound. How amazing is that? And I thought, ah, I know, what would be nice? I could use it to create this cover, which you say, I've, I've only just started to put it together. And I thought, ah, that would be quite good to use as a cover because it's quite, it's quite tough paper. But I thought, no, what I want, what I really would like it to be is a bit kind of screwed up, a bit scrunched and almost like leather really. So this is what I'm gonna do in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to my art studio. It's very messy. I hope you're well. My name is Kate Field. I am a now, I am now a retired art teacher. <laughs> taught art and design for a very long time. And I still do the odd workshop now and again, but I've just started to put a lot of my tutorials on to YouTube. So how exciting is that? I hope you like what we have here and uh, share your thoughts and your ideas and perhaps give me some suggestions of what uh, you'd like me to teach you because that would be really exciting. Thank you so much and if you like it give it a like and perhaps subscribe. That would be fun. Right, so we're going to create a cover for this little scrap journal using a bit of, sh of uh, sheet music from the charity shop. And the first thing we're going to do, this is hugely satisfying, we're going to scrunch it up. Scrunch it all up like this and then carefully unscrunch it. Look at that. Let me just spread that out a little bit. Like that. I'm going to stain it with my ink pad. So this is the stays on ink pad and then another one that I just I'm not quite sure where I got that one from. But so brown and green. I'm just going to a little bit over the top and you can see where all the wrinkles are. You get that pattern. Like that. Let's just do a little bit of that as well. And I'm just going to uh, edges. Do the edges. And then with the uh, the ink on the, the ink on this other one as well. I'll uh, I'll use that. Don't worry if it's got some torn torn bits. That's absolutely fine. The lovely thing about stays on is that um, it will, it's fixed. So as soon as it dries, even if you add water to it, it will stay put. Whereas this one is water soluble, so it will move about. You don't have to use those sorts of pads. You can use um, acrylic with a sponge, or you could use ink. That would work really well as, as well. So I think I might do a few, few more of those, perhaps with some ink. Let's do that now. I go back to the original one. This was all, this is all dry now, and now we're going to create that kind of leathery suede type effect, which again is very easy. Hair conditioner. That's all that is. Just hair conditioner and water, and you're going to put some hair conditioner. And I've just put a little bit of water on that as well. And then just going to rub 
a little bit more water there. Oh, hands are all slippy now. <laughs> rub that. Uh, any hair conditioner will do. <laughs> but I have found when I've done this before that uh, you get a smell. So if you've got something that smells nice, oh, then you'll get a journal that smells nice. How cool is that? Once you've put your hair conditioner on that all the way over, you then need to leave it to dry probably for about three or four hours, actually. It needs to be completely dry before we stick it onto the book. So that's, uh, that's the technique. Let's uh, leave that one to dry now. Once it's all dry, you just place that on the top and just stick it, stick it down. So it's so easy. You just kind of wrap it. I open that one up. You can just see I've just stuck, stuck it on to the cover. And it has a, it's a nice feel to it. And then you can start to decorate the cover with some words, something like that, which is nice. And I've just started to do some collage pieces inside. Well, the ink has dried on this. So I really like it. It has a kind of a shimmer, shimmer to it. And I'm going to add a little bit of uh, textured paint to it. Again, using sponge, a bit of acrylic paint, and uh, yeah, a bit of poster paint as well, actually. So it's very, very inexpensive. I'm just going to just put some bits over the top. Don't need very much. Just sort of takes off the white a little bit, just adds a little bit more interest. I think um, sort of pink and grey go really well together. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's get that done. It doesn't matter if it tears because we're going to be sticking it, sticking it down. Kind of like clouds, isn't it? I'm quite liking that. I am liking that. Yeah. Lovely. So I will leave that to dry and then I'll put the um, hair conditioner on top of it. And this one is now dry. I left it for about an hour actually, that wasn't, and it, it was fine. So turn it up the other way. I've got my hook here. You can see it's just going to fit over the top. We're going to be sticking that onto there so it folds over like that. So it's very, very easy. I'm just using a glue stick. Okay. Put that down over there. Turn it over. the edges. Fold that over. Again, I just give that a good squish. There, yeah, that's done. That's worked really well. If you want, you can fold those ends over. I think I'm just going to leave them as they are because I quite like that. And then there's your book.
all ready for your next adventure. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and that you find uh, some inspiration to make your own journals and have your own art adventure. If you like it, perhaps you'd like to subscribe. I'm planning on posting out videos once or twice a week on a Friday and I hope to, you can join me next time. See you soon. Bye bye.